What's up, Mike King Blake here? Man, I guess I'm gonna be a uh, just by myself for Christmas. I mean, I guess that's how the gods want it. I'm a little depressed about the whole thing. Man, you can't mean nothing real out here. All they want is fucking money. All they, they don't even listen to anything you say. It's fucking ridiculous. So I totally give up. I was already give up on it. I mean, just even find just a friend, just somebody to take out to dinner, and I'm paying. Oh man, in a movie. You know, that's it. You know, at this point, I mean, I don't think I really want to get married at this point. I don't know. It it, it just must not be the right time. When the gods will, it'll happen. Well, you know, the next, don't ask me for no more money. Just put it that way. Don't ask me for money. I'm blocking everybody. If you ask me for money, you're getting automatically blocked. Anyway, I want to bring up, man. You know, Blake's clean and sober for over 30 days now. Um, I don't know, man. It's just a day, you know, just thinking about it. The closer it gets to Christmas, man, I'm just like, I can feel it coming on. And I used to drink to, uh. Just to not, because it's always been a bad time, but it's it never gets any better. It's even worse now, because I, I still haven't made it to even see Stephanie, or if they, I don't even know if they cremated her or what, I don't have a clue, and, and it's just breaking my fucking heart. And like I say, I just wanted somebody to, to talk to, you know? I don't have fucking nobody to talk to, except these guys in the house, and I can't open up to guys, guys. I can't. Not like I can with, with you know, female and I don't know why that is. It's just been that way my whole life. So, enough about Blake's fucking, uh, Blake's uh, date in life. Um, it's getting closer to Yule or Christmas. And yeah, man, I mean, it's, it's never, I've never felt, I've always, I always feel like, you know, I don't belong. I mean, I felt that way my whole life. You know, my family makes me feel that way. And I, I know that a lot of you probably can relate to that. So this year, you know, Nothing new. I'll be spending Christmas all by myself. Um, ever since Stephanie's been gone. And that's fine. Because like I say, man, I've got to work on me first. And I'm not going to sit here and whine and fucking talk about you, you know. I'm not going to sit here and whine. Because I can't believe don't do that, you know. Yeah, I'm human too. Just like I've told you. Anyway. You know... This is something I've recognized about Christmas. And, you know, I had stepkids and stuff. I've never ever got to even spend not one Christmas or Hanukkah or Yule, as I call it, but my daughter is Jewish, with my daughter ever in her whole life. She's going to be 14 coming up April next year. Not one Christmas. I spent literally three days and two hours with her, and her mother was with us the whole time, except for when we went on the ride. And, you know, I've been trying to talk to my daughter. Susan says she doesn't want to talk to me, but she doesn't have a reason not to talk to me. I would never hurt her, and I never did, and I never have, and it's all her fucking fault, but damn it. She's the one that's decided to leave seven months pregnant with my daughter. She's the reason I, that her, my daughter got fucking took. Not me. I had nothing to do with that. If I knew where that little girl was, I would have been up there to get that little girl. I would have never let her, her family fucking get my daughter. I was looking for it for over 10 years. And if that happens again, I won't let it happen again. I'll go up there and do whatever I can and fight. In New Jersey, I'll have to go to court up there. But she's my daughter, and she's old enough to make her own choice now. Just like I did when I was 12 years old, and I decided to stay with my mom full time and not my dad. Because they wanted to play all this fucking, oh, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me, stay with me. My mama didn't push that. My dad did. And my dad's also the person that whooped me every day of my life. And I never understood why. I mean, all those whoopings, yeah, that's what happened. I thought there was something wrong with me the whole time. All my life, I've always thought there's something wrong with me. And it's carried on. And, and it's still I still have that, even though I don't say it to them. <laughs> yeah. Why did you beat me so much? You know, my brother got whippings. But no, nobody in my family, and I'm the oldest, got more whippings than me. And I just didn't understand. And I mean, I remember from like two years old and earlier. Those, those images are so burnt in my mind. I remember that better than I remember what I ate for breakfast this morning. Anyway, I've been checking out this dude. His name was uh, Justice. Uh, he's doing kind of a lot like I'm doing, you know, just talking on video. But he was talking about, you know, how things are getting ready to change. Things are getting ready to come to light. And, I, you know, 
I believe that all my heart. You know, and I, I don't preach the same thing he's preaching because he's talking about being true in Christianity. But like I said before, it doesn't matter to me. You know, I think God's bigger than all that. I've always said that my whole life. God's bigger than anything people we could even imagine. And I'm talking about the, the person that, that made angels, the person that made the devil, the person, you know, the mighty creator, higher power. I call it Odin and the gods, the Viking gods. And, and, and I don't believe I'm wrong every day. I mean, I'm getting blessed every day by the fucking gods. And like I say, whoever you call you know, whatever, the supreme being that made everything, <laughs> even the devil, <laughs> must have had a plan for him. So I'm saying, you know, Peter, it's not about what you believe in. As much, it is about what you believe in. It, but it's about living it and and practicing what you preach. Living, you know, putting legs on it. What my grandma used to say, you know, you can read the Bible, but you, you know, and you can pray, but you got to put legs on it. And that, and basically that was her way of saying, you know, you can read all of it, but you, you know, just call yourself a Christian or you can call yourself a Buddhist or you can call yourself whatever you want. But if you're not living it, trying to live it, because, you know, none of us are perfect. And, you know, and I truly don't believe that. I believe it's been a devil here all along, think, pretending to be Jesus Christ to blind people's eyes. But I can't silly say that, but. But a lot of people that call themselves, you know, spiritual, even, they're all self-centered. I mean, that's what I see in the world today. I see all this, you know, it's about me, 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 me. What can I get? Me, 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 me. Selfishness. You know, and what I was going into about, you know, our children and stuff. Our children don't need 50 million toys. I mean, I remember when I was married to my first wife and raising them, those three stepkids. And I love them to death, and I'm not saying anything bad. But you walk into any kid's bedroom like they're two or three years old they got like piles of stuff that they don't even look at they don't play they the only thing they did was like rip it open at their birthday whatever but they never even looked at it after that they don't play with it you know as when i was a kid man we got like two or three things under the tree and that was it you know we got bags of fruit because fruit wasn't you know oranges and stuff like that it grew in florida and grow here we had apples and stuff but i'm saying you know it was about togetherness you know it was about being with your family. And it wasn't all about money. And, and this world's made everything about money. Everything has to be about money. Oh, and what you could buy, you know. I mean, I wouldn't, my dad never could afford it, even if it was like an old piece of junk that we fixed up. He couldn't afford to buy me a car, you know. I mean, my grandfather died that I cleaned up sinks full of blood because he died from a GI bleed. He died drinking. And his liver stopped and everything came up. He, he bled, basically threw up his whole volume of blood in the sink. And it was severe DTs. And I've come close to that, you know. I'm a professional alcoholic and I'm not proud of it. But I don't, you know, I haven't gone to that extreme, let's just put it that way. But I mean, this time of year, I just don't even want, I don't even want to think about stuff. But honestly, there's no drug out there that makes you forget about your problems. It doesn't make you happy. There's nothing out there. There's no substance out there that takes takes all that away from you. You know, you have to be just non-human to not think about all these things. And this time of year just makes, it's just not, it's not a great place. It's not a good time for me. It's, it's torturous, you know. And I, I'm just, I'm just kind of looking for people to be my friend and not really be friends with, but, you know, other people that feel the same way I do. But, you know, apparently... Being chosen as somebody um, that's going to lead the way, and there's others out there, and I do believe that I am. I mean, all the signs are pointing to it. I spent a lot of time. Alone. I've been spending a lot of time alone. I've been dealing with my stuff. The gods have been working with me. Me and them just stri- just me and them, just me and them all the time. And um, and you know, I like being around other people. I'm not saying that I don't meet other people. You know, I go to like social things, social. You know. Um, different types of, of things and, and I meet people out here but not people that I trust and they sure probably don't trust me but either way you know, I just want you know just one person just real person but I don't have to see it with my own two eyes That's never believe something that's not standing in front of you never send somebody a money or a gift card that you don't know that you can't because you, you don't know who you're talking to so please listen to me if y'all listen to my stuff y'all subscribe to my video 
guys, ladies, don't send them a gift card. Don't send them, don't send them no ga- gas app. You know, you don't have to screenshot that shit. They're robbing your ass somehow, some way. And and that's just bottom line. I know that's a fact because my ex fiance is dead. Her son, he would get somebody to send him some cash on cash app and he somehow, man, could just drain that shit. Just drain it. You know, I mean, who the fuck? I'm like, I kept asking him all the time. like, man, how the fuck do you, I never in my life got free fucking drugs, you know? And I'm saying, you know, the times have changed so much, you know, like these ladies that are so lonely out here and, you know, and, and I'm sorry, right? Ain't all that because <laughs> he might look decent, but that don't mean shit. It's about what kind of person you are inside, isn't it? You know, he's taking advantage of people that's lonely and they want him to change and blah, blah, blah. And then he just like, whenever it's not what he wants to hear, he just leaves. And that's how most of these people, the younger generations doing, even people my age are doing it. You know, the problem with being 49 is they've, these ladies out here have seen all just about every fucking trick and bullshit that everybody does. But I'm not no bullshit, but they think I'm fake because I, even though I've been through all this stuff, I still have a heart. I still can't be a cold ass motherfucker. It ain't about the fucking money for me. It never has been, never will. And it, it's not just just because you look good don't mean shit to me. I mean, it's nice, you know, but, you know, I see beauty and all. But it's more about what's in her heart for me. Definitely in the eyes. And I'm not saying that that's her. Obviously, you know, I always end up with these crazy people or just these one-sided relationships. And I know a lot of you can relate to that. And uh, and it hurts. Because those of you out there that really are trying to find something like me, you know, <laughs> that's real. <laughs> we put our hearts in it 100%. We mean what we say. And then these other people just like, oh. Here's somebody for me to take advantage of. And they just, you know, like I say, even if you supposedly have somebody, you're alone. Once they find out they, that you all oh, really do stand, I mean, and they try to, you know, suck the life out of you. They, you know, feed on your energy, you know. <laughs> take Waste your time, you know. You're beating your head up against the wall, that brick wall. And trust me, I do. I do it until I'm bloody. And even after that, I'm like, I can't hate this person. Because I'm a good person. So, go figure. I know there's other people out here like me, too. I know I'm not the only one. But, you know, what the Justice guy's talking about, and I'm looking into a couple of other things. So, check him out. His name is Justice, and I think he's homeless on the streets. Or he has been recently. But, you know, I said since 2018, I had that experience. That I, can't, I can't explain it. I don't know how to put it in words. It was just like I didn't have a vision, really. But it was like... I was at the lowest point. I really just didn't want to be here, no matter what. You know, I, really, really close. And I've been really close a couple of times. Just, But, I mean, I didn't want to, like, just blow my head off with a gun or whatever. You know, I was just drink myself to till my liver stops, you know, and just, you know, whatever. You know, I didn't want my mom finding me. I didn't want anybody that I love finding me with my brain splattered all over the wall. I've seen that. I've seen that. My best friend did that to herself when I was 15 years old at a party. I don't know how I'm still here, people. I don't know. But there again, you know, <laughs> Christmas is all about money. Now, or Christmas, or Xmas, or those of you that don't believe, or Yule for me, you know, even if you look into that, it's more about, and you know, even the months of, you know, back in the pagan days, they had 13 months in a year, not just, you know, all pagans, not just Vikings, but all pagans had 13 <laughs> Moon cycles, and that's the truth. You know, the Romans are the ones that... That's why we have to have a leap year every year. Because our calendar is not actually correct. And every four, every four years, we have to actually uh, shorten that year so we can make up for that, that lost time. It's just like, you know, back when I was a kid, you know, Halloween was always like on Friday night or something. Thanksgiving was, yeah, usually on Thursday or Friday. But... Actually, it was on the weekend, I think. Maybe it was on Thursday all the time. But anyway, yeah, but I'm saying that's American holiday. Most people in the world don't even don't even celebrate Thanksgiving. That's a total American holiday. So is the 4th of July. So <laughs> I'm not saying that's cool. But we've lost our independence. You know, they're controlling us. They're controlling us by just giving us just enough to get by. They're controlling every one of you by... Making you work jobs, like I've explained, so you don't have time to be 
there for your children and your wife and and they're they're, they're splitting families and they're, they're dividing us and and my dad told me a long time ago you know he handed me a little stick and he's like break it and i was a little kid and so i broke it and then he picked up you know five or about 10 or 15 pretty good sized little not even really big sticks and he's like break it now and, and it took me a little time but eventually i could you know got it being a little bit but he's like see if we stick together we may break, but it's a lot harder to break it. So the bigger that bundle would have been, it wouldn't have been broken. And I'm telling you people, <laughs> I believe God is for real coming back, whoever it is. The end of time, Ragnarok, I'm speaking about Ragnarok here. I've seen the signs, and there is signs. There's like three winters of extremely warm weather, which we've had. That's not like winter. And then we have like... Um, three years of winters i think toward the end that that um but i mean you think about it, we've had barely no rain this past summer i've never seen the rivers run that low i mean they didn't even have like currents in them ever they did but it's just like a stale pond down through there and i'm talking about really good sized rivers so the world's definitely changing and i do believe there's a new i don't believe it's going to be in the world it's going to be in the world as we know it but no <laughs> And I do believe there's something we're saving right now. And I'm ready, I'm willing and ready to fight with that. I'm ready to fight with that alongside every one of you, you know. Uh, get Check out my channel. Subscribe. Put a, put a comment. If you think I'm full of shit, say I'm full of shit. You know, I'll try to get back to you. I don't really care. I'm not here to impress anyone. I'm not here to, I'm not here telling you that I know everything. But the things I'm saying, I guarantee you that a lot of you can relate to. But they're definitely trying to separate us. You know, what I was talking about earlier with the sticks, they, they, they're they doing that. What did COVID do? I mean, we still put masks on when we get sick, you know, and that's not actually a bad thing because, you know, you know what they're going to release, but they're going to release something that soaks through your dick. It ain't going to make a shit. I got the shots. I still got the shit. And it was like withdrawals or just, it wasn't even like a slight flu. I don't think I even ran the temperature. I felt like shit that morning. But yeah, it's just bullshit, you know, pumping fear, pumping fear, pumping fear, you know, and it's healthy to be somewhat fearful, but face your fears, people. You know, the, the news pumping fear, pumping fear, you know, can't trust anybody, you can't, you can't trust anybody out there. You really can't, because everybody's like that. And then they told everybody that it's about you, you can do it all by yourself. Bullshit, man. We've been so many lies and we believe such bullshit, you know, I'm sorry, a relationship, period. Relationship with anybody, friendship, your family, you know, those are all different relationships. Relationships between parents and their children, you know, which, <laughs> that's all it's safe because you got the mother and sometimes got two mothers. I mean, it's just, it's just really confusing. My daughter that I've only met three times is wanting to be called Zorro, like sorrow with a Z. And they're pushing that transgender on my 13-year-old girl, man. And you know, I don't give a shit. She's my little girl. You know, she gets old enough to make her choice. And I have to respect whatever she decides. But she don't even know what she's talking about. And I can't even be in her life. Because Susan says she won't, She doesn't want to talk to me. Give it time. <laughs> Susan, you're the reason that I have not been in my daughter's life, bitch. I hate your fucking guts. I've cried my eyeballs out. Every fucking day I try to kill myself. I woke up a month later because you did that shit to me. You're the fucking reason I did not, I'm not. i not in Lily's life. You're the one that lost Lily for four years, not me. So it had nothing to do with what I was doing. I was just trying to fucking kill myself because all I've ever wanted in the world was a child of my own. I've raised plenty of kids that wasn't mine, and they're mine. I don't see no different. I mean, they don't have to call me dad, but I'm a good person, man. I, you know, I, I raised them kids like I was, they were mine, you know? And it's nothing, nothing sexual, none of that crap bullshit. Children are the future. And a lot of children have grown up in most of my life. All that divorce shit grew up, you know, with two separate families, two different grandmas, you know, yeah. stepdads, stepmoms, and some of them motherfuckers weren't that nice to the kids. They didn't give a fuck about being a father to them kids. They wouldn't like me. 
you know, they just had to do whatever they had to do to be with their mama. So they just tolerate this and that. And I've gone through that too. I threw my fucking first stepdad out the fucking house when my mom went to work when I was 16 years old. That motherfucker didn't even call her for two weeks. <laughs> okay? Piece of shit. And then, you know, I'm saying, looks is, looks is deceiving. And a lot of times your children are small and stuff, they don't know how to tell you what the hell's going on. And if you get, I mean, you get a hint of that shit, I'll kill a motherfucker. Over anybody's kids doing some badass, nasty shit to people. But I'm saying, man, <laughs> remove the blinder. I'm not saying not protect yourself. Go make friends with everybody. Don't do that. Don't go give your heart to everybody. I do, but I still care. When I tell people I care about them, I care about their families. I mean what I say. I may not know them, but I would love to get a chance to know some of these people. And we don't have to be alike. We can agree to disagree. Well, we have common ground here. Let's fucking let's make a let's fucking reclaim America, because the the working man, which there's no more, no more blue collar anymore, was the backbone of America. And what happened when everybody the blue collar people, you know, and oh you are look you got for over sixty thousand dollars a year. And dude, I've still tried to call, and they just put me on another goddamn insurance, so I won't get that no damn dime. And I told them I didn't have Medicaid or nothing. I can't work out. I didn't even make 12 grand this past year. Okay? Period. All right. And I don't get $6,400. I don't get $1,400. They're going to cut my food stuff off after three months. I can't be in my kid. How am I fucking supposed to go up to fucking New Jersey? It costs like over $500 to go up there and back. Just to see my fucking daughter. It has nothing to do with Susan. I want to be in my daughter's life. Yeah, Dixon, whatever. You know? I'm not going to sit here and whine because that's mine. That's mine. I'm sure all of you can relate. I'm sure every one of you have <laughs> things that you're driving to do, but we're all getting stopped at the fucking way. Every time we get ready to cross that line, oops. And that's what's going to happen when they take currency away and everything you got on a computer and you start making a little bit too much. Government's going to sweep in about taxes here, pay taxes on. They're going to find what some way. They'll, they'll change the definition to take everything you got. And trust me, watch Trump. They're going to take everything he's got. He thinks he's smart. But they got time to fight with his ass, too. Okay? I'm not saying I'm not a great Trump supporter, but Trump, at least he wasn't buying the bullshit. Just Biden shit, throwing money at everybody. That pretended like they're helping us, but they ain't helping us do shit. <laughs> Every time we get a check, what happens? Prices go up. The first thing they did was shut down the goddamn... First thing that motherfucking Biden did, shut down the middle pipeline. Gas prices went up. Then, <laughs> there were fucking million of fucking ships out there with fucking goods coming into America, and he fucking kept them all off 100 miles offshore. So the motherfuckers... <laughs> and then, but well, the gas prices drove the transportation, you know, like truckers and things. So our products... Well, what about the toilet, the toilet paper thing? We just all of a sudden, none of us had toilet paper, okay? And I know we got t paper mills pretty close to here, all right? I mean, fuck it, I'll wipe the leaves, but I mean, really? People were like buying the fuck out of toilet paper. Oh my God, there's a fucking pack of toilet paper. And like, what the fuck? I mean, out of all the things that you might need to survive, toilet paper's probably your least reason you need to have, you know? I'm sure you can find a creek to, to squat over and and splash water on your asshole. You know what I'm saying? Okay? <laughs> Take a fucking bath, people. You know, boil some water, whatever. You know, come on. that Seriously. <laughs> That's what's going to stop the world, toilet paper? Oh, man, we ran out of toilet paper. We're just, we're done. Ridiculousness. I'm tired of the ridiculousness. I mean, are you serious? Are y'all under some kind of mind control? Because I believe that's real. And I think a lot of people are. I mean, I don't even know who the fuck my mom is anymore. But I could be like, Mom, I love you. And she fucking be like, go the fuck off on me. What's your story to me? I'm like, Mom, I just said I love you. Don't you ever scream at me again. How many people going through that? This, uh, this justice dude, he's going through that shit too. But you know what? 
I'm not here to get a girlfriend. I'm not here to get friends. I'm here just to preach a message. People, open your goddamn eyes. Excuse my French. I shouldn't have said that. But yeah, open your fucking eyes. Open your eyes. Get off the phone. Get them fucking earbuds out your ears. Go sit in front of the fucking convenience store for about two or three hours. Go sit in front of a store. Watch these homeless people for about two or three hours. Just watch people, period. Go to the grocery store. Just sit there. Just sit out there. Don't sit in your car. Go ahead and sit there. Just people watch. I dare you. And you'll see some of the craziest shit you've ever seen in your life. You know? I mean, at this point, we got to fucking... Turn off the blinders, people. If you don't see it coming already, it's coming. It's already here. It's here. It's right in front of your face, but you still can't see it. You know, because it's right there. You can't even see around it. But everybody's got, oh, 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 there it is. Oh, I think, oh, there it is. Oh, oh. Are you fucking serious? Maybe the mark of the beast, it's on us. They're controlling every fucking thing you do. They're, they're, they're pumping shit. They've been doing this shit through commercials for years. They're still doing it. There's so many things out there. Hidden, hidden sayings, hidden things and songs. You know, back in the day, man, people talking about, yeah, they play that music at the grocery store, but it's got a hidden message that says, shop, shop, shop. And I believe that. Now we buy everything online, so we don't even personally go out there and pick our gifts out. I mean, we don't even know if that motherfucker, <laughs> yeah, it was like, Okay, and, but I'm saying again, people, don't, these kids don't need fucking me and my damn little dog toys. Get them, get them what they want. And if they don't, I mean, but I'm saying, you're throwing money at the problem again. Uh, I wanted to have a good Christmas. There's kids out there to get one gift and they're fucking happy as hell. They get a dinner for Christmas and they're happy as hell. Because all they've been eating is peanut butter or fucking oatmeal or grits for the last year get real people it's time to get real open your eyes take the time I dare each and every one of you take the time not only start spending time with your family don't let them take that away from us we need to fight for our family for our kids to have a life of our own and be able to make enough money because it doesn't matter every time that it goes up and you get another job or you get a raise, that's not going to help you because they're just getting taxed up. Who's making the money, the tax money? When you fucking retire, you think you're really going to fucking have anything? No, nah, my mom don't. She still works. I see everybody, I, oh, I'm retired. They still work at a full-time job. Okay? And drawing a check. And yeah, mom's like, oh, the check goes up. They still tax them. We shouldn't be taxed when you, when you retire at 73. If I fucking make it that long, and I probably won't. Because I know right now, <laughs> my gods, the All Father, all the Viking gods, the the mighty Creator is getting ready. You get all getting ready to see exactly what's going to happen. Because you think you got something, and boom, it's going to be gone. You can be standing there looking at both your hands, going, "I know it was there just a minute ago. What happened?" Because you're not. You're not being realistic. So you need to put certain things in your life that are more important than that. Put your spirituality, your connection with the with the, the higher power, that comes first. Once you have that and you're decent, unless you're like a satanic motherfucker, or you're believing Satanism, or you just want to go out here and murder everybody, you know, or, you know, white supremacism, we're going to fucking like... Put all the Jews and blacks and the gas and just wipe them. Fuck that shit. You know, if they're good people, man, fuck it. But, yeah, let's go up there. Let's fucking fight these motherfuckers with money, with, with, with our minds. Which is going to be hard. Because they're just going to keep it going. And then, you know, they just be like, you know what? We all don't feel this way, so we're shutting down today. You know? That's what they did on Trump all the time. The, the Congress were like, we, we're, all, we're all going on for me. There ain't no such thing. We can't reach an agreement, so no more Congress. No more votes. <laughs> you know, you know, it's not going our way. We're just not showing up. Fuck that. You know what? <laughs> I mean, we need some real people. We need warriors. We need real leaders. <laughs> and I'm willing to lead.
I'm really willing to leave. If they want to fucking pull that shit, then we just got to go up there and forcibly take them out. But not no fucking unorganized thing. You know, you're up there hurting the people that's fucking working for a living. They ain't fucking, they're just trying to make a fucking paycheck. You can't hurt them. Because I'm talking to those people too. Law, doctors, lawyers, police officers, everybody out there. Look at you. Where's your family life at? Everybody going through divorce, relationships going all the shit, working your ass off, trying to do the right thing. Nobody's there with your kid. They got all the time in the world to brainwash them because these phones right here listen to everything they say. And if they even have a thought like, hey, I heard about this. Bloop, it pops up on the fucking screen right in front of them. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. I see what people talk about that we're in the matrix, right? Because those of us that are not blinded, we're looking around like, man, there ain't no fucking way that shit's real. What the fuck? And I'm not talking about just like stalling like planes in the sky. I'm talking about <coughs> people out here, man, you're standing right in front of them and they just, it's like you're not even there. They don't even see you. If you try to talk to someone, they got something in their ear. I mean, how many, how many of y'all have been like, trying to work with somebody or whatever on the job where you really need to communicate, you know, like you need to know, or they need to know English. So if something really bad happens, you all can communicate. <laughs> That's important. You know, <laughs> you know, at least has to come out. Even if whatever you speak, that's fine. You can speak that at home, but you know, on the job, we need to be able to communicate. But in life, we need to be able to communicate. We need to be able to communicate with our kids. You know, these little kids want to learn to speak Spanish, you know, and, and you don't know Spanish, but, you know, they're able to say, a lot of them make fun of us. A lot of them make fun of us, man. And actually, they come from, hell, where do they think? Spanish people, man. Valhalla, Spain. Still the capital of Spain. Blonde hair, blue-eyed people. Brown hair, blue-eyed come from The Spanish people, white people. They ain't really no more, but I'm saying. Okay. Them conquistadors that came over in them helmets took them Incans and all them over, man. They, they had blonde hair and blue eyes. They were white, like me. Okay, it don't matter. The people in your skin don't make a fuck. There's good people out here everywhere, and I'm calling on you. Okay, but we're they're still doing that to us too, and even though we see it, we're having to fucking make choices to do shit that we damn sure do not want to do. But they don't give us another option, and the option is, fuck them. Let's all quit buying our shit. Let's all start growing our own food. Okay, and I'm not saying we live in a big fucking hippie commune and, you know, they already did the flower power thing, and man, whatever, bullshit, okay? Having a sit-in, okay? That's why we're in the situation we're in now, okay? Now, my, my gods are telling me it's time for war. So get up, take the blinders off. It's time for war now. It's time for us to unite all of us, black, blue, purple, green, yellow, no matter what, alien, I don't give a shit, it's here. Then if we don't do nothing about it, y'all want to just let them, they're already doing it. Push us around, hold these little fucking fake ass things over you. Fuck that shit. I say, fuck that shit. I say, all right. Let's get in touch. Let's come up with some real suggestions. And let's change the fucking world. And fuck everybody that don't like it. They can kiss my white ass. And I'll stand on that front line with all of you. For all of you. That have families. Those of you that. Are willing to pick up. Fight beside me. Warriors that are ready to give their life so that their families can really have something. Don't give your life to the man because he's never going to let you have nothing. Let's take back our lives. And if we can't, we'll be in a better place. I'll be in a better place. I'll be up there. I'll be with him. And I know that's where I'm going. I'm a being of light. I am a being of light. 
And you can see that. But so are you. Choose the light instead of darkness. Sorry I rambled on and on. I had to check this before. Anyway, listen to my messages, guys. Subscribe to my channel. Send me some comments, because otherwise I don't know that I'm on the same page as you are. But I'm pretty sure I am, because I see people out here every day. And we made all, you know, even though we all speak English or whatever, to each person that means something different. But that's okay. It's, it's being individuals that's what makes the human race such a great race. Uh, the human race. Being different than everybody else. Now, some of us are similar, but I'm sure all of you can agree that enough is enough. It's not enough is enough. I'm done. Get in touch with me. Bye, King Blake. Hey, I'm saying, send me some comments. Subscribe to my channel. I would love to hear some of you Okay? And I don't know. I'm not afraid. Because I know they got my back. And I'm going to be fighting for all of you. I already am. Wake up. The whole world needs to wake up. Wake up, America. It starts at home. Just like I said, it starts at home. Von King Blake off. Oh.